This is a Game Caviar production. This game right here, Dead Space 3, is easily one of the most addictive games I've ever played. It's really hard to put down. I wasn't planning on getting this game, although I did like the beta a lot. And I think that the game was going to be amazing. Oh, well, I thought that the game was going to be amazing when I played it. I wasn't planning on getting it. Uh, you know, I just have a certain set of games that I really home in on and, and really want to get. But I didn't think that uh, I was going to be able to get this game. I had some other things that I had to pay for and, you know, whatever. The adult things. You know, you got to be responsible. But I ended up finding this for a really good price on a website. So I went ahead on and bought it. And I started playing it today and I can't stop playing it. This game is pretty cool. If you played Mass Effect 3, I don't know if you have to beat it or if you just played it. But I know that when I started this game, since I have it on PS3 and I played Mass Effect 3 on PS3, I got some extras within this game. So keep that in mind. I don't know uh, how many other developers do that, but EA is pretty good at, at carrying over extras from previous EA games. So... I would make sure that if you played Mass Effect 3 on a system, then try to get this game on the same system. And all it was is like a suit, an extra suit. Uh, I haven't had a chance to actually try it out yet, but I, it's going to re resemble the uh, the Normandy uh, suit that you use in Mass Effect 3. At least that's what it said. So, Other than that, man, this game is pretty awesome. Uh, of course, this week they had the PlayStation 3... I mean, PlayStation 4 event, uh, Sony did in New York, and they showed off a lot of things. They didn't talk about the price, and they didn't show off the console itself, but they did show off the new DualShock 4, and they released pictures of the new uh, PlayStation I. I missed, like, the first hour of the press conference, but what I, from what I saw, it was pretty good. Pretty good, and it's coming out uh, holiday 2013, so at the end of this year. And I imagine that Microsoft is going to do the same thing with the Xbox 720. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make the, uh, for as of right now, I'll have to see what Microsoft has to offer. But I'm going to go ahead and make the PS4 the primary system uh, as far as um, the um, which one I'm going to get first. I'll get that one first and then I'll go ahead and... Uh, you know, it, it all comes down to price, really. Uh, I don't have a desire to pay $600 for the next PlayStation like I did for PlayStation 3. Uh, but um, it, it's, it's all about that price, man. That price is so very important right now. But I do have a plan. I am starting to... Well, I'm not. I plan on starting to put some money away. So that when it gets released, I'm not going to be out there trying to trade in my whole gaming collection just to have enough funds to get it. Uh, the games that they showed looked amazing. And like I said, they were there was a rumor that they were only going to show three games. They showed more than three games. They showed Killzone. They showed uh, some move type game. They showed, what did they show? This, uh, like, I think it's called Drive Club. I thought it was Gran Turismo, but it's not. It's another racing game on PS that will be on PS4, uh, and um, the games that they showed look like it, the PlayStation 4 is going to be another leader in the graphics department. Uh, it's going to be a powerhouse, man. Uh, one thing that somebody had said, they raised the question of whether the next generation consoles will beat the PC, and the answer is no they're not because pc you, you got to think computers evolve so quickly that there's no way for consoles to actually beat a computer now when the playstation 4 and the next xbox comes out they might initially be uh, powerful more powerful than the majority of leading computers but that can change within a matter of months because like i said computers evolve so quickly that it's it's just it's really hard to to hold them down and to uh, produce a console that is cost efficient and powerful at the same time so i don't think 
neither Sony or Microsoft, <clears throat> excuse me, Microsoft are going to uh, try to beat out computers. I don't think that's really their 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 thing right now that they're going for. Uh, I would imagine that they're just trying to put the best system out there and uh, have very good hardware, but focus more on social features and things like that. Like Sony, the PlayStation 4 is so heavily involved in social media that it's going to be really hard for Microsoft to beat that. I'm thinking now that the only thing they can do is, is really match that. And since Sony went first, uh, there's going to be that, you know, Microsoft is just trying to be Sony type deal. I'm glad that Sony went first. It kind of let's get them uh out there and this is what we have this is what we bring to the table it sets up a great e3 this year coming up because we're gonna probably most likely see prices and the consoles and everything that goes on and that's a great prelude to the holiday season when uh i guess i know the playstation 4 is coming out but i don't know about the xbox the next xbox so anyway uh Let's talk about it in the comment section below, and please like this video. I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studios, and I'm out. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video, and subscribe for more.